Hey guys, this is a quick overview of my thoughts on the new Volk Elite, and then I'm going to compare it to the Volk Power and the original Volk. So this is the new Chi Volk Elite M. Uh, there's no logo because I switched the centers, but I'll explain that in a minute. In a minute. So as you've seen before, probably in other videos, uh, the newest thing uh, in this cube is this customizable magnet. So there's magnets between the corners and edges, as well as between the centers and the edges to make 96 in total. So out of the box, it came with the clear ones, which are medium strength magnets. And it was very weird for me. I didn't like it at all. I think some other cubers like it, but for me, it was way too magnetic. The turns were too slow and then M slices were really cl clanky. So right away, I switched to the green center caps, which have no magnets. And I haven't played with the the springs in there, but uh, as you know, you can also switch those for green or red. Uh, so I kept the silver ones, or the clear ones, and my first impression of the cube, I like the way the turns feel. They're very smooth, I'll just let you see that right now. So yeah, it's a really fast and smooth puzzle. It's a lot quieter than most of the other cubes, and I feel like it has to do with the internal design with these special grooves and the primary plastic because it reminds me a lot of the Volk Power. It's similar in turning, it's very effortless and turns just glide along, but I feel like the Elite is more stable than the Power, which is a good thing because the Power kind of shifted around on me a lot and that caused me to be inconsistent comps and then this was just weird with lube and it would really, it would be variable performance depending on the day. So that's what I didn't like about the power, it was a bit unstable, but this is more stable than the power, which is why people have been saying it's in between the power and the original Valk, because it's more stable than the power, but it turns like the power, kind of. It's smooth and fast in the same way, but uh, the Elite is more quiet than the power. So summary of Elite versus power, Elite is more stable, slightly worse corner cutting, quieter, a bit faster, and a bit smoother. But compared to the original Valk, the Elite is still faster, a lot smoother, a lot quieter, similar in stability, but slightly worse corner cutting. So the original Valk, that means this is louder, about the same stability, this is slower and um, crunchier in feel. And personally, I prefer the original Valk a lot better for 3x3 and for OH, just because I'm used to the speed of it and I've been able to like keep it at a control controllable speed so that even if I... Um, overshoot a bit, there's not much catching and the corner cutting does me well. Whereas with this, I find uh, the balance between the flexibleness of the cube and the speed of it and the corner cutting aren't perfect. So it's really fast and I end up overshooting and getting a bit of corner cutting issues. But that only comes up in second block when I'm switching between like R wide, R and M moves. Other than that, this cube lets me turn really fast. Um, I think my peak TPS on this is higher than with any other cube. Like, on ALG, CML, and stuff that I've drilled, it lets me go pretty fast. But second block in LSE, I definitely do get more lockups. So average TPS is probably lower on this than with my Valk, but peak TPS is higher on this. Um, in general, overall, I think the original Valk is better for me personally. But I'd still recommend that you try this out because a lot of people have been switching to it and getting great times. So yeah, that's my first thoughts after a day of having the Volk Elite sent to me from Chi. Thank you so much. Uh, now I'll just insert an average of five that I did on this cube. Thanks for watching. Hopefully this helped you out.